Okay, we're going to look at Unit 2.1, Double Digit Addition Strategies. First, we're going to take a look at 32 plus 45. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing this out using base 10 models. So one way students can do this is they can draw um, their 10s and their 1s out. So I'm going to draw out 32, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, and then I'll draw 45, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I go ahead and I add all those up, and we can see that I have um, 7 tens, so that's 70, and we can also see that I have 7 ones, so that's 70 plus 7, so the answer is 77. On the other side, I have 28 plus 34. So I'll go ahead again and draw out a tens and ones chart. This is just one way to do it so that the drawing is organized. So I've got 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When I'm drawing out the ones, I try to draw it in a 10 frame. It makes it easier to count later. Then I've got 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then again, I'll go back. So I've got here 5 tens, so that's 50. And then over here, I have 8. And then I have 4 more, so that's 12. Now I have to realize that this is a 10. I'll push that 10 over here. So 50 becomes 60 and 2, so the answer is 62. Okay, we're going to take a look at expanded form now. I'm going to be pulling apart these numbers and putting them back together. So I'm going to use a little t-chart here to help me with tens and ones. I have 30 and 2, 40 and 5, that's expanded form. I'll be adding those numbers, that's 7, and that's 70. So the final answer to this problem is 77. I'll take a look now at one that has regrouping. Again, I'll go ahead and do my t-chart with 10s and 1s, 20 and 8, 30 and 4, I'm going to add these, so 8 and 4 is 12, 20 and 30 is 50. When I get to this point, I need to take a look at this and realize that we have a 10 here. This 10 needs to be pushed over. So now the 50 is 60 and the 12 is 2. So now I have my final answer, 62. Now we are going to solve an addition problem on a number line. So we're going to create an open number line. We'll start with the number 45, the larger of the two add-ins. I will now jump three tens, 10, 20, 30. So this, these jumps are each tens. They all represent 30. And then two more. That's a one jump and one jump. So together they're two jumps. So 45, I'll count up, 55, 65, 75, I'll write that down. Now I need to switch over to count by ones, 75, 76, 77. So that's my answer for that one. Now I'll go back down to the next one. This one I'll have regrouping. Open number line, 28 plus 34. I'll start with 34. I'll jump up two tens. So that's a total of 20 and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All of this is eight. So now I'll go back to 34 and I'll start jumping first by tens. 34, 44, 
54, I'll go ahead and write that down, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. My final answer is 62. This final strategy is for students who are really advanced. We call it the pull-down strategy. They can either start in the ones or tens place, it doesn't matter. But they, the idea is that they would look at the two in the ones place and the five in the ones place, and they'd say that's seven. They'd look at the 30 and the 40, and they say, oh, that's 70. And together, that's 77, and they'd be done with the problem. If they go ahead and look at the 20 plus 34, this one will have regrouping. They'll add the 8 and the 4 and say that's 12. 20, 30, that's 50. And it's at this point they need to say, okay, I've got a 10. I'm pushing them over here. 50 is now 60. 12 is now 2. Final answer is 62. There you go. That's the last strategy. So students can use any one of these four strategies um, in, in their math work and whatever works best for them, that's the one that we're encouraging them to use. We'd like them to try all of them out, but whatever works for them is what they should really use.